Dhaka, one of the most densely populated cities in the world, has a population of almost 17 million, which is expected to rise to 25 million by 2025. Uttara, Tongi, Joydevpur, and Ghazipur serve more than 1 million inhabitants. Many factories, universities, official facilities, including the Bangladesh Rice Research Institute, are located along the corridor which engages a large number of people. Most of the internal roads are very narrow when only rickshaws and auto rickshaws can ply on them. The rapid growth of this population has exceeded the demand for accessible, safe public transportation services. A deteriorating level of service, lack of passenger comfort and operational efficiency have marred the public transport sector. Improving the transport system in Dhaka is a priority for the authorities. In 2016, the revised Strategic Transport Plan RSTP for Dhaka recommended two bus rapid transit routes and five metro rail lines. Within this framework and under the financing of ADB and AFD, the north section of BRT Line 3 from Ghazipur to Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport will be implemented, while the detailed design of the south section of BRT Line 3 from Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport to Jhilmil Keraniganj has been completed by DTCA under the financing of World Bank. Bus Rapid Transit is an enhanced bus service with dedicated bus lanes implemented in many cities worldwide, providing high-quality public transport services to ensure mobility and access for everybody. The first phase of the corridor will cover 20.5 kilometers between Uttara, Tongi, Joydevpur and Ghazipur, serving more than 1 million inhabitants. The BRT corridor will have one BRT lane in each direction from the airport terminal to Ghazipur. The corridor will be widened to the full crest width to create more space in the corridor. Due to this road widening, the dedicated BRT bus lanes will not obstruct other traffic on the corridor. Dhaka BRT will be an important tool to improve the landscape of Dhaka by the overall improvement of traffic management by means of segregating non-motorized transport NMT lanes and service lanes, improving 113 feeder roads, installing adequate energy-efficient street lights on the footpath and developing high-capacity drainage facility under the footpath, covering the whole left of the corridor. Six flyovers will be constructed along the corridors at busy intersections for better traffic flow. Dhaka BRT will have 25 stations along the corridor from the airport terminal to Ghazipur terminal with regular and express services. Passengers will have a station at an average spacing of 750 meters. Passengers will have access to the stations through footover bridges which will be comfortable, safe and with easy accessibility for all passengers with the provision of automated escalators and lifts especially for female physically challenged and elderly passengers. Passengers. On opening, the system will carry approximately 250,000 passengers per day and has been designed to carry a maximum of around 400,000 per day. There will be provision for an e-ticketing system for the absolute convenience of the passengers. To board the buses, passengers will have to make prior purchase at the ticket counters located at the stations. Stations will be equipped with high security systems information screens and voice information systems. Stations will be provided with electronic gates to protect the passengers and also adequate queuing space to wait for the buses. For express services, there will be provision for bypass lanes to facilitate this service at the stations. High capacity buses will include special seats for women, elderly and handicapped people. LED panels will announce the approaching next stations time and the weather outside. Onboard systems will be installed for possible communication between the bus and the control center where vehicle position will be monitored using GPS. An elevated section of nearly 4.5 kilometers will be built for the BRT lanes between house building and Cheragali. Automatic escalators located at grade will provide access to the stations at the elevated sections. The four-lane Tongi bridge will be reconstructed as an eight-lane bridge having 
one lane in each direction dedicated to the BRT. A ramp down from the Tongi Bridge to Abdullapur will be provided to integrate the Ashulia Road into the system. The BRT will provide a timely opportunity to redesign the Jaidevpur intersection, integrating the proposal for the widening of the Maiman Singh Road. A depot for the BRT buses will be located near Ghazipur. The bus depot will be equipped with parking and maintenance facilities for the buses. There will be provision for refueling and comfort rooms for drivers. The main two terminals will be located at airport and Ghazipur. At the terminals, separate spaces for parking and drop-off points for cars, auto rickshaws and rickshaws will be developed. The terminal will have spaces for administration and public facilities. There will be internal space for routine daily maintenance of the buses. An operations control center will monitor the position of each bus in real time and conditions on the busways and stations will be checked by CCTV cameras linked to the control center. The BRT system will help to introduce a new transport culture in Dhaka city. Transit-oriented development will create new opportunity for residential and commercial development. Thus, Uttara to Ghazipur area will be more attractive for residents and visitors. It will definitely contribute towards the modernization of the city through a holistic solution for integrated urban transportation and the construction of 21st century Dhaka, a city less polluted, less noisy and with happy citizens that will enjoy the greater prosperity of Dhaka.